Hello, in this video, we will understand what is Boolean algebra and solve a few questions on truth table and logic gates. We all have studied algebra in maths where we have expressions containing variables and constants which we solve using some rules. Boolean algebra is a branch of algebra where value of variables are true or false or just yes or no. It is also called as logic or boolean decision or binary value quantity. Here 1 means true and 0 means false or 1 is yes and 0 is no. It was named after George Boole who discovered a link between mathematics and logic in the year 1854. Its most important application is in running computers and electronic machines as it is an important tool in analyzing, designing and implementing digital circuits or integrated circuits. At basic level, circuits are made from logic gates. Logic gate is an integrated circuit which operates on one or more signals and produce single output. Gates are digital circuits because the input and output signals are denoted by either 1 which is high voltage or 0 which is low voltage. Coming back to Boolean algebra, it is made up of elements which are variables or constants with value of 1 or 0. Since they store only two values, they are also called as logical variables or binary valued variable. Next is logical operators which are AND, OR and NOT. Then there are axioms and theorems such as De Morgan theorem, duality theorem, etc. These elements and operators form Boolean expressions which are solved using various axioms and theorems. To prove if expressions are equal or test if theorems are valid, Many times we use truth tables. Truth table is a tabular structure which shows all the possible input value used and output produced by applying the logical operators. So if you have one variable, it will have two possible values 0 and 1 or true and false. If you have two variables, it will have four possible combination of 0 and 1 as shown. And if you have 3 variables, then it will have 8 possible combinations of 0 and 1. So if you have n variables, then you will have 2 raised to the power of n combination of input values. Here if you look closely, the combination are written in set order, which is nothing but binary number of 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. We will now learn about basic logical operators NOT, OR and AND which are applied on these elements or variables to obtain the result or output. First is the logical NOT operator. This operator is also called as inverter, complement or negation operator. This operator takes in one single input and gives one output which is opposite of it. So if you have input variable A with value 0, it converts input of zeros into 1 and if it is 1, it is converted into 0. It is denoted by NOT or negation sign or a bar on top. Since this table gives all possible values of input and output, this is the truth table for NOT operator. A real life example of NOT gate is that of a car door. If it is not closed, the alarm light will go on and vice versa. In digital circuits, it is called as NOT gate and is depicted as shown. It takes only one input signal and produces one output signal. The output of NOT gate is complement of its input. It is also called as inverter as it inverts the input signal. Next we will see logical OR operator. It is also called as disjunction operator. 
This operator results in logical addition of the binary valued quantities. So if you have two input values and we take all different combination of inputs, the output will be 1 if any of the input is 1. So here all are 1 except the first row which is 0. This is the truth table for two input OR operator. If you have three inputs, then also it works the same way. We will take all possible combination of inputs and it will be 1 if any of the input is 1. So leaving the first row, all other rows are 1. This is the truth table for three input OR. It is donated by OR or plus sign or V sign. Real life example of OR gate is that doorbell will ring if the front doorbell is pressed or back doorbell is pressed. In digital circuits, it is called OR gate and has the symbol as shown. It gives a high output 1 if one or more of its input are high. OR gate also takes two or more input signals and produces only one output signal. Next, we will see logical AND operator. It is also called as conjunction operator. This operator results in logical multiplication of two or more binary valued quantities. So if you have two input values and we take all different combination of input, the output will be 1 only if all the input are 1, which is there in only this last row. So only last row is 1 and remaining are 0. This is the true table for two input AND operator. If you have three inputs, then also it works the same way. We will take all possible combination of inputs and it will be 1 only when all inputs are 1, which is only this last row. All other rows are 0. This is the true table for two input AND. It is denoted by a AND or dot sign or inverted V sign. Real life example of AND operator is that of microwave. It will start only if the start button is pressed and the door is closed. In digital circuits, it is called as an AND gate and it has a symbol as shown. It is an electronic circuit that gives high output only if all its input are high. We will now see some typical questions that are asked on truth table and logic gates. If we see the truth table, the typical questions that are asked are either to draw a truth table for a Boolean expression or using truth table prove that Boolean expression is true. We will see how you can solve these. Let's take an expression a bar plus in brackets a b bar plus c bar and see how we can solve it. First thing we will do is check if it is a two term or three term expression. We have to first set up all the combination of input values of the term. Since this is three term, we will use binary numbers from 0 to 7. These are the three input values. Now to solve this, we use the standard BODMAS principles which we use in the algebra. We first solve for NOT used for individual input terms. Like here there is NOT A and NOT B. This NOT is for entire sub-expression. So we will solve this NOT only after solving the sub-expression. For NOT A, we will take A column and just reverse it. Similarly for NOT B, we will take B column and reverse it. Next, we will solve the sub-expression inside the bracket. We will first solve a dot b bar. We know this is AND, so it will be 1 only when both input is 1. We take the A column and B bar column. If you see, in these, only in these two places, both input are 1, so the output will be 1 and remaining all will be 0. Next, we will solve a b bar plus c. 
Here we know it is OR gate, so output will be 1 if any of the input is 1. So here we take the C column and AB bar column. Here these all are 1 and remaining are 0. Now we will find not of this expression which will just be reverse. 0 becomes 1 and 1 becomes 0. Now we need to add this to A bar. We have already calculated A bar, so we will just take that column to add here. We know for OR, if any of the input is 1, the output is 1. So in all of these places, the output will be 1 and remaining will be 0. This is the answer for this expression. Let's solve another one. Here we have to draw a true table for x dot in bracket y dot z bar plus y bar dot z. Since this is three term, we will first set up combination of input values which are binary numbers from 0 to 7. We will use the standard BODMAS principles of algebra. We first solve for not used for individual input terms. Here there is not y and not z. So we will first take y column and negate it and take z column and complement it. Next we will solve the expression inside the bracket. We will first solve y dot z bar. We will take y and z bar column. We know this is AND operator so it will be 1 only when both input is 1. So in this table you see only in these places both input is 1 so output will be 1 and remaining all will be 0. Next we will solve y bar and z. The same way we have solved y z bar. We will take the columns of y bar and z and apply and to the values. As you see here, only where both inputs are 1, the output is 1, remaining are 0. Next we will solve y dot z bar plus y bar z. We take both the columns and since here it is OR, we know the output will be 1 if any of the input is 1. So here these all are 1s and remaining are 0. Now we need to add this to x. So we will take column x and this column and do AND. Only if both the input is 1, the output is 1. So these all will have output of 1 and remaining 0. This is the answer for this expression. Now we will solve some questions where you are asked to prove a theorem or an expression. Like prove using truth table De Morgan's theorem which is a plus b bar is equal to a bar and b bar. Here we solve left hand side of the equation and right hand side of the equation and if the output values of both columns are same, we say that the theorem is proved. Let's solve this. Here we see it is a two term expression, so we will set up all combination of input for these two terms by writing 0 to 3 in binary. Next we solve for not which requires only one term. So we select the column A and complement it to get A bar and take column B and complement it to get B bar. Next we will solve the bracket which is A plus B. We take column A and B. Since this is OR or addition, output will be 1 where any of the input value is 1. So these all values are 1 and remaining are 0. Next we have to find complement of it so we will just reverse the values. Now we have the LHS value solved. Next is to get the RHS values which is A bar and B bar. We select the A bar column and B bar column and AND it. Output is 1 only when both values are 1. So only these rows are 1 and remaining all are 0. Now we just compare the LHS column with RHS column. We find for different combination values all are equal so the theorem is proved.
Next we will see how to draw logic gates. You could be given an expression and then asked to draw logic circuit gate for it. Let's start with the question where you have to draw logic gate for A bar plus in bracket AB bar plus C bar. We solve the logic gate problem by first seeing whether it is a two term or three term input. Here it is three terms so we will just draw three lines on the left for three input fields. We use the same Bodmas principles to solve this too. We first look for where not terms are used. Here we are using A bar and B bar. So we take input from A and B, set up not gates and set them up also as vertical lines. Next we will solve the sub equation in bracket. First we will solve A B bar. Here we will draw horizontal lines and take input from A and B bar and put AND gate over here. We then take the output from this gate and input from C and use OR gate. Next we will apply the NOT gate on the output of AB bar plus C. The output of this is added to A bar. So we will take this and input from A bar and apply OR gate. This is the final result. Do note some specific points we have used while drawing the gates. The input fields have been drawn vertically including the NOT of individual items. Then we take an input from these fields and solve the remaining equation horizontally step by step using the similar Bodmas principles you use in algebra. For the horizontal lines, do remember to put a bigger dot when you are taking input so that there is no confusion as to from where the input is drawn. Let's take another question here. We will draw logic gate diagram for x dot in brackets y dot z bar plus y bar dot z. We again solve the logic gate problem by first seeing whether it is two term or three term input. Here it is three term so we will just draw three lines on the left for three input fields. We use the same Bodmas principles to solve this too. We first look for where not items are used. Here we are using Z bar and Y bar. So we take input from Y and Z, set up not gates and set them up also as vertical lines. Next we will solve the sub equation in brackets. We will start with Y dot Z bar. Here we will draw horizontal lines and take input from Y and Z bar and put AND gate over here. Next we will solve Y bar Z. Again we will draw horizontal lines and take input from Y bar and Z and put AND gate over here. We then take input from Y Z bar and Y bar Z and apply OR gate. Now this sub expression we will AND with X by taking input from X and applying AND gate. This gives us the final result. I hope you understand how to draw truth table and logic gates. In our next video, we will learn how to simplify the expressions using various axioms and theorems which are available in Boolean algebra. Thank you and goodbye.